Hey Libra, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a timeless reading for you guys. That means that whenever you watch this video, the message is probably for you. Take what resonates for you, know that there's other Libras watching this video, but whatever applies for you can be part of the message the universe intends for you through the cards, okay? Today I'm using the textured tarot. You can get this one on Etsy if you like it. Let's see, universe, what are the messages for Libra? What is Libra going through right now? What does Libra need to know? What cards are coming up for Libra? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> that reminded me of Kevin Hart. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Don't mind me. <laughs> But if you like having heart, you can comment below. I happen to be a fan. Okay, strength. Starting with a very powerful energy, Libra. The strength card speaks about that very deep certainty within your own heart. That true strength. Not the strength of the physical body or your muscles or the strength necessarily even of your will. This is more of a strength that comes from to me at least as a reader, it's the strength that comes from certainty that the universe has your back. So it's kind of like allowing the power of the universe to work through you. And that is the strength that you have, not your own, not your limited body, not your limit limited mind. It's like you have this army of light behind you. Okay. You may be dealing with a Leo right now. You may be dealing with Internal demons that you're trying to get a hold on. Look at how she's trying to get a hold, not trying, she's actually succeeding in taking a hold of the lion, the beast. And she's not doing it through strength, okay? She's not forcing that. What she's doing is through the strength of the feminine energy, of the pureness, of the connection to spirit. That is how she's taming the beast. So, if you're dealing with internal demons, insecurities, fears, things that are bothering you right now, the way to sort of get a grasp on that or overcome that is through your connection to spirit, through your connection to the divine in whatever shape and form that resonates for you. So if you're a religious person through your religious, um, you know, methods or whatever, I don't mean to be disrespectful, I just, I don't know how else to phrase it. Um, if you are someone who considers themselves very spiritual but not religious, then do whatever, whatever it is that works for you. Whatever makes you feel like you're connected to spirit. If you're like a surfer and that helps, you know, surfing and just being in the water and that is something you can do right now because that makes you feel closer to God, then do that, okay? Whatever it is, but, but do connect. That is important for you at this time. Because there is... There seems to be anger within you or within someone around you. There seems to be anger and very fiery, strong, overpowering energy. You could definitely be dealing with Leo or an Aries. Or this could be your own energy that right now is very fired up. Maybe there's lots of anxiety right now. Maybe there's so much energy that you're feeling that if you don't channel it properly, it can consume you. It can burn you out. The Seven of Wands is also a part of standing your ground, speaking your truth. Maybe through speaking your truth and holding your ground in a very pure, elevated way, you can tame the beast, which could be... <laughs> A fire sign that you're dealing with right now who's very you know aggressive at this point or something along those lines remember to take what resonates with you and leave the rest got the hermit so some of you guys could also be dealing with a Virgo maybe right now I mean I think that the world is a little bit in this hermit energy forcefully non-negotiable you know the hermit is a card of Going within, spending time alone, spending time in solitude and peace and tranquility as much as possible, and meditate and go within and seek the answers from the inside. Okay, so you're definitely moving forward in a positive way, Libra. Whatever is happening right now, 
I do feel like there's some kind of conflict, some kind of fight, some kind of aggression going back and forth. Could be between um, a female and a male, man or woman, or feminine and masculine energy, whatever you want to see it, however you want to see it. But there's just, there's just this kind of like aggression. And now it's like you're seeing that and you're saying, what's the best way to deal with this? Like, am I going to stay and try to um, maybe tame this person? <laughs> that sounds horrible. But like, you know, I'm going to stay and try to work this out. It's basically what I'm saying. Like, am I going to be able to temper down their aggressiveness? Or is this something that needs another form of resolution like walking away? Or being alone because the hermit is a card of solitude so some of you guys may be dealing with something along those lines not everyone but you're definitely headed towards a better space definitely because the six of swords here is you basically taking all of your essentials um, putting them all in a bag symbolically speaking and taking them with you into calmer waters leaving behind the choppy crazy waters of conflict Whatever is coming for you, Libra, is better than what you're leaving behind. And I literally just said that to Virgo. So I feel like maybe the world right now is going through a deep, deep transformation. And we are being redirected into something that is far more harmonious than what we think is possible. Like a whole new earth. A whole new life for you. Then we've got the Queen of Swords. Well, this is definitely you. Queen of Swords is a feminine Libra Aquarius Gemini energy. It also could apply just to someone who's very, very, very objective. I am personally a fan of the Queen of Swords. <laughs> I love the Queen of Swords. She doesn't give a shit. She just doesn't. It's like she sees things for what they are. And if she's kind of harsh, then she's kind of harsh. But she speaks her truth. She stands her ground, just like the Seven of Wands. She's objective. She does not fall for the bullshit. She cuts through the bullshit with her sword. And she's been through hell and back a thousand times. She knows what's up. She knows what's up. And this is you, Libra. So right now, you know, use that. Cut through the bullshit with your sword. See things for what they are, not what you want them to be. And make decisions accordingly. She has, a, she has a thick skin. She doesn't give a shit. And you've got the Knight of Swords. So you could be dealing with another air sign as well. Um, this is someone... The Knight of Swords is someone who wants something really bad. And this person is... Kind of like doing whatever it takes to get there in such a way that can be aggressive and can be a little bit disruptive and can even be offensive to others in the sense that they may kind of like step all over you to get to where you're what where they're trying to get or go so you could be dealing with someone who doesn't give a shit you could be dealing with someone who is very 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 <laughs> very 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 um driven and determined to the point of you know, like to a fault. They can be actually very harsh. Or maybe you feel like you need to be harsh right now. Maybe you feel like you need to go get your goals and your dreams and you can't let anything stand in the way. Especially maybe this fiery energy. Maybe you're trying to stay focused on your goals in spite of the whole crises and everything that is going on. Some of you guys could be dealing with third-party situations, love triangles. Some of you guys could be dealing with reconciliation or the attempt thereof reconciliation. Some of you guys are really needing social interaction, like craving it, going crazy on your own at your house. Not all of you. Some of you are actually rather comfortable with those, the solitude, but some of you, a few of you are like, okay, I need this quarantine to be over. Like, I need this to be over. But also, that can be a signal, Libra. That can be a sign that there is something 
that you're needing to address that you don't want to see or you don't want to address. Because sometimes we distract ourselves through social interaction. And when we're alone, if that's really uncomfortable, if that's something that really bothers us, it's because that solitude opens a space for something to bubble up. And if we really don't want it to bubble up, we're like, we need to get busy, we need to hang out with people, we need to do something else. And that could be just an avoidance thing, okay? So just try to see if there's anything that is wishing to come through, because the sooner the better, okay? With the Ace of Pentacles here, there is professional and financial success and abundance available for you. There is an idea, a new beginning, a gift from the universe that if you pursue, you're going to be very successful, financially speaking. And you also have the Wheel of Fortune. I don't do reversals, guys, so when you see me flipping the cards, it's just I only take the uprights, okay? So the Wheel of Fortune is, to me, always you're in the right place at the right time, basically. And everything that is happening right now has a purpose. Never forget that. You're not going through chaos for the sake of chaos. Chaos has a divine order, underlining divine order, and everything happens for a specific reason. So try to keep that in mind. But yeah, Libra, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be more than fine. Um, I can see that you're going through something, but with the Six of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Strength card, you're good to go, okay? You're gonna be just fine. I love you guys. I hope that this helps. I hope that you enjoy this connection time. I know I do. I would love to have you here, guys. So please click on that subscribe button or the little TP. There's like a golden TP on one of the corners of this video. You can go ahead and click on that and that way you're going to subscribe too. And I'm going to leave the website below in case any of you have some extra time and want to do some maybe past life regression healing at home. I have a course for that and also want to heal your relationship with money. So if that's something that you feel like you need, just check it out or if you feel curious just go ahead and check it out everything is in the website and yeah i'll see you very soon guys Mwah. bye